This is Sean Raiz. I want to ask you a question. Who loved Civil War? Captain America, you know, I can do this forever. I can do this all day. <laughs> I'm loving myself. I love a good, good movie. And I love superheroes. I don't know. I just do always have. But I want to teach you something. I want to use the principle of leadership and team building. Who remembers Civil War? Who remembers how Captain America, the America's favorite captain, America's favorite leader, allowed his friend Bucky to do something that was terrible to Iron Man? He didn't allow it to happen. It happened before he became aware of it. I'm here because I made a promise. You lost someone. I lost everyone, and so will you. An empire toppled by its enemies can rise again, but one which crumbles from within, that's dead forever. I know that road. What is this? But he became aware of it. So leaders, something may happen between two members of your team, of your organization. One of those people doesn't have to be so close. They may be an older friend or you might have worked with them before. And then the new person that you're working with may have a conflict or may potentially have a conflict because remember, Bucky, Bucky knew what he did, but he didn't really know how he had violated an Iron Man had no clue. At that prime moment, when Captain America became aware of what happened, he had the potential to be a transformational team leader. If he would have sat those two down, if he would have went over what took place, this is called conflict resolution, negotiation and crisis management because there was a potential crisis that could take place if Iron Man ever found out what happened. And what happened? He did. After a while, Iron Man found out what Bucky did. And then he was hurt twice. He was hurt because of what Bucky had done. Remember, Bucky killed his family. So, of course, it was terrible. But he found out that happened. And then he was hit and struck a second time. He was impacted because his friend, his leader, his compadre, his fellow Avenger, Captain America, never told him. So when he got slighted, when he felt the wind of it, when he felt the impact, there was no way that Captain America could contain it because he didn't say anything. So the first principle, number one, is do not let a potential conflict go 
unspoken. Go unaddressed. Address the issue before it becomes an issue. They used to call that nipping it in the bud, right? And then what happened? He's my friend. So was I. Stay down. Final warning. I could do this all day. Shield doesn't belong to you. You don't deserve it. My father made that shield. And then what happened? Then he did the second worst thing that a leader can ever do. He joined sides with Bucky. He joined sides with his old friend and they jumped Iron Man. He beat Iron Man down with his friend. Now we understand that you have alliances, you may have your favorite person on the team, you may have the person that resonates with you, maybe you both come from Brooklyn or maybe you're both from the same side of town. Maybe you went to the same school or have the same family friends. As a leader, it is your job to stay in a bipartisan place, stay in a neutral place and do not, do not join sides as a leader. Do not take sides in a conflict resolution or crisis negotiation situation between two parties. You have to stay neutral. So number one, address the potential conflict before it becomes a problem. Number two, make sure you don't take sides in a conflict. And don't make the same mistake that uh, Captain America made because, of course, you know, you can go all day and do this all day, but in the end, you lose the respect of a good ally. The organizational trust in you sinks, and then you have to leave like he did with his friend Bucky. So sometimes you leave the organization because you made the bad decision. Don't make the bad decision and don't cause a civil war.